right guys so this video is going to be all about the hair I'm wearing I'm gonna try to go a little bit fast because I know this is gonna be a pretty long video I'm gonna try to put everything in this one video so this is AliExpress hair this is a wig and I did make the wig I got the Malaysian deep curly hair and the vendor is Ali Moda and I'm sure you guys probably have heard about them I've seen a lot of videos on their hair um but it is aliexpress hair so it is very affordable and i just wanted to test it out to kind of see if this is something i think you guys would be interested in or if you want to buy some type of hair like this and it is natural and you guys know i'm natural so it gives you kind of that natural feel so that is why i did agree to review this hair for them now they did send me this hair to review but i am going to give my honest opinion because you know i don't play that um, the bundles that I did receive was a 16, 18, 20, and 20. Now, I thought this was going to be kinky curly hair, so I thought that that was going to be, you know, pretty short. But when I got it, as you're going to see um, on in the video, it was pretty freaking long. The 20 inch is so long, I was like, yeah, no, I'm not about that long hair life anymore. I'm all about the, at least like shoulder length and stuff like that. So I want it to look as real as possible. And I think I did a pretty okay job. And I got a closure now. <laughs> and it's a 16 inch closure. So in all, I got four, five things basically. Four bundles of hair and the closure. Um, this is my first time having a closure at all. And the knots were not bleached. So hence why the top of my head is cut off. Because I'm not really feeling the closure. I couldn't walk outside like this. I would have to bring my own hair out, and I only have two plaits going on, so, yeah, sorry guys, um, but I am going to show you what the closure looks like. Now, I did bleach the knots, and you'll see the entire process of what I did, um, but I did not show you was I did add the shimmering lights to the closure, just so I can get rid of some of the brassiness that was in that closure, um, but that was all I didn't show you. I just let this sit on there and then wash it out. It is a shampoo, so... Yeah, I just didn't show that in a video. But as far as his hair goes, I do not have a problem with shedding. I did sleep in this last night just to test it. I didn't take it off. I didn't put a scarf on or anything. I just slept on this hair. And when I woke up, it was still as soft as it did it was when I went to sleep. And I don't know. I am I'm loving this hair. It's so soft. If I can't say anything else about this hair, it is extremely, extremely soft and manageable. You can easily comb through the curls. It's like the perfect curly hair. Like I've had hair from TD Hair a while back. You probably see that video. That hair was nothing compared to this hair. This hair is so pretty. Now it got, it shipped to me DHL like all AliExpress vendors do. And it got to me in two days which was perfect and yeah guys I'm actually gonna try to go ahead and get into the video because I don't want this video to be too long if you want to know where how I did my makeup or what I have on my face all of that will be in the description bar below so I did that for you guys because I know you're probably gonna wonder and ask me what I have what I, how I beat my face today so um, that will be in the description bar below so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial I did make this wig and you're going to see exactly how I made it and everything I got y'all back and I cut layers in it you're not going to see that but I did cut layers in it so if you're interested in seeing how I kind of achieved this look then just stay tuned and I'll see you guys in my next video the closure and the bundles and the closures. Now I'm going to bleach the closure. I had some gloves, 30 um, volume developer bowl and my kaleidoscopes in the blue pack and I have the hair of course. So I'm basically going to mix the developer and the bleach together and you're going to want to get a nice paste you want to get a really good non runny thick type of paste so that it won't run onto your closure but mine did because I kept it on for about 20 minutes I only recommend you guys keeping this on for a good seven to eight minutes and then you can go ahead and rinse the bleach off 
Now, as you can see here, I'm just mixing it in and trying to make sure I have the perfect consistency and it is perfect now. So I'm good. I'm going to take a makeup sponge and I'm just going to dot that. And then I'm just going to place it on an aluminum foil and wrap it up. And I left it for way too long, hence why the hair is going to be a little, you know, blonde on the hair. But we'll fix that a little bit later. So as you can see right here, it's pretty blonde. Um, but I will go ahead and do that later. And now I'm just showing you guys how I place the closure down before I sew it. Now... When you are sewing your closure, you want to sew it down super duper close. You don't want to have any spaces or anything in between. You want to really sew really close together. As you can see right here, I'm pulling it very tight because I'm not going to have a band. I don't have a band on this wig because there's a band in the dome cap and it works so well. I don't know why people are doing the band method but as you can see right here I'm getting super close now this mannequin head keeps moving and it's annoying me hence why I'm not gonna be able to show you guys every detail but this is just how I'm starting and I'm not going through the elastic band I'm only going through the material so keep that in mind when you are doing this to not go through the band because that is going to make it hard for you to stretch So I'm just showing you the other side. I've already completed the other side. You don't want to just sew around. Um, you want to do one side of the closure and then you want to do the other side of the closure and then you want to sew the back down. Um, you don't want to just go around because it's just not going to be in the exact place that you wanted it to be. So yeah guys, keep that in mind as well. sure I sew and I ran out of thread so I cut it and then I continued as you can see I'm sewing extremely close together now I'm not gonna sew all of my hair and my bundles and everything this close together only the closure is what you really need to be paying attention to and making sure it's close together and as you can see the back isn't sewn down yet after I sew down that side then I do sew down the back and I'm not gonna show you guys that because you've been watching me sew the closure for a long time but I did go ahead and sew that as well and I'm just showing you how close it looks. look at that it has to be super close and then I sewed that down alright so now I'm gonna start in the back with my longest length now some people like to double their wefts and I do as well you're gonna see I do double my wefts but not in the back I don't want it to be really matted the more hair that you have in the back area the more matted it's gonna be um so I recommend you starting off with single wefts in the back and then if you want to do double wait to your next bundle and then do double wefts that is how I did this wig and it turned out so great so I do recommend that if you are wanting that fullness and again make sure you are not going through the band that will ruin the entire thing if you decide to go through the band it won't stretch how you want it to and it won't be as functional as you would like so don't go through the band <laughs> you get you some tea pans I do have tips and tricks on how to make a u-part wig all of that will be in the description bar below so you can go back and watch my tips and tricks I haven't really changed anything um so yeah check that out as well if you are confused at a couple things that I'm doing in the video
and I'm using the fold over method so um, I that just means that I'm not cutting my tracks before I start over even though it's a wig I don't want a lot of shedding so that is why I do it and then again I don't have time to cut it I just don't feel like cutting it so I don't do it um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue sewing and now I'm done with that and what I do um, when I want to go and start a new bundle I just take the thread up a little bit as you can see there and then I go through the hair and just start over now I am doubling these tracks but this mannequin head would not stay still so I could do it on camera but I did just want to show you that I was gonna double some of my tracks and you can see exactly how full it is so when you're doubling them after you secure one end you want to go ahead and secure the other um, and then that makes it a little bit easier when you start to sew now I have completed the entire wig and I'm just showing you guys exactly how it looks the curl pattern is phenomenal I freaking love it and it's soft guys it's not hard at all but I have completed it as you can see that closure is not what I want it to be and it's still not what I want it to be so I'm just cutting off the excess dome cap so that it's only the lace under there and I'm just showing you guys what it looks like after I've done that and I just pimped them up easy peasy I don't it's, it's a wig so it's not that serious um so now I'm just putting the wig on and sorry about this lighting guys I didn't want to take it um in the bathroom so yeah there's no light in my bathroom unfortunately all right so I'm going to go ahead and cut it what I'm going to do is just put some elastic bands on the ends wherever I want to cut it and I'm, I'm singing don't work don't don't even pay me any attention um, but I'm just putting the rubber bands where I want to cut because I like I said I don't like long hair um, and then I'm just going to make sure they're even and just cut you want to cut above the band just to avoid any mess so that's pretty simple <laughs> And that's how it looks and then I'm just gonna throw some layers in it I cut a lot more than I'm showing you guys but I'm still cutting so you know there's no need for me to just do that and I'm not an experienced cutter so don't take my word for it um, but just cut yourself some layers because you really want it to look nice and I was done so yep just get my group on hey. so yeah guys I really hope you guys like this video 